So we want to talk a little bit about some diversity and hiring tips. So what are some things you should be looking for as a, uh, as as a, a diversity champion in this space, right? So, so you're thinking about being an inclusive manager or uh, a member of a hiring team. So, first, recognize that 80% of um, Americans will purchase a project because the the company um, is an advocate for something that they care about. Right, so eighty-seven percent of Americans will uh, will buy a product from a company that matches their uh, their social inclinations. Right, so so folks are really are looking for organizations to be corporate um, and social uh, to have corporate corporate mm-hmm. and social responsibility. So they're really looking for organizations to have corporate and social responsibility. So don't duck the diversity questions. So be able, be prepared to respond to diversity questions. So here are a couple of diversity questions that you should gear yourself to, uh, to address. So first is, um, Give specific examples of how you have helped create an environment where differences are valued, encouraged, and supported. So, so we're going to ask and um, we're going to ask potential uh, employees these types of questions around diversity, right? So, so give us a specific example of how, of how you have helped create an environment where differences are valued, encouraged, and supported. Tell us about a time when you successfully adapted to a culturally different environment. And then thirdly, let us uh, tell us about a time when you had to adapt to a wide variety of people by accepting or understanding their perspective. And so when we when we think about some of the diversity questions for uh, p- new potential hires, um, th- these are the the a few examples that we can use to kind of set the tone for uh, for dealing with the diversity challenges, right? And you can you can see in those um, those questions that we're asking not just about a particular type of diversity, right? So we're not just talking about race or gender or sexual orientation or religion. But we're looking for the larger concepts of how someone's been able to with to deal with cultural differences and adapting to those cultural differences with the, the hope that those will be transferable skills as they come into our organization. Right. So, so here are a few questions that managers may get from potential in, in employees, right? So um, what do you have in place that supports newly hired individuals? So, An answer could be across the organization, we have blank. I'm not sure what that is for your organization, but but have that. Um, So we have resource groups or mentoring, whatever that is in your organization. Um, We also have blank that come together to support one another across the organization. And so maybe that's events, maybe that's, um, uh, you know, uh, affinity groups or um, uh, employee resource groups, wh- whatever that is, make sure you put you you answer that right. So we'll go to another question that managers may get in an interview process. So um, tell me about your organization. W- tell me about what your organization is doing to address diversity and inclusion. And so this is where you talk about what you're doing, right? So what whatever committees you have, whatever networks that you have. And if you don't know those, do your own research so that when you go into this interview, you're pre- you'll be prepared to talk about those things, right? So we have an infrastructure in place that includes uh, offices and networks where diversity is acknowledged and celebrated, right? So, um, but be a bit more specific than we are in, in these examples. Um, Here's a, another good one. Um, what's the level of commitment from your leadership for this work? So have an answer for this, right? So our top leaders um, sit on our, um, on diversity and inclusion committees, um, and those help drive the direction of our work in diversity and inclusion across the organization. But be more specific ar- around who those leaders are and, and what they're doing. And if they're not doing those things, this is a great opportunity for them to, uh, for you to present this to them as something to think about as uh, potential um, candidates will be asking about these, these, uh, these questions. 
Um, what type of training and education do you um, do you provide employees around diversity and inclusion? Um, simple answer: We have uh, education around topics of unconscious bias and stereotype threat, cultural competence, um, LGBTI, and others that are rolled out across the organization in in various channels. Right. So, so be more specific in in your answers, but recognize this is another set of questions that could come up as um, as potential employees are curious about your corporate responsibility and, um, and in some cases, social justice initiatives, right? So um, here are a few principles to remember. I, I won't go over with th these with you uh, now. You can do this on your own, but, um, but I will leave you with that. And so with that, we'll stop here and I'll see you in the next section.